back in the Corrado. It looks quite dry, to be fair. I don't think we've we've done too bad. Um, however, we've got very, 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 very lucky. We found ourselves a B4 Passat glass. So we're gonna go fit that instead now, because apparently this is the one to have. So very excited. We'll uh, pop this glass out, those four, four bolts again, and the other side, and see if this fits. Now we've still got this, bases in I believe so we might have to pop them out um, but let's see what happens ready for this yep got the tools I think Is that one there? I don't know. grab that and let's get going oh great are you ready no <laughs> one out on either side <clears throat> and just gently push it up that's it keep going keep going there you go lovely all right let's grab that one Now we go in with the new. I'll give you that. Spin it around. I think it's that way around. You might want to duck. <laughs> Try to line those up. Oh, oof. You think it fits? Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's lovely. Come outside. Look how flush that is. That looks really nice. And we've got the spacer in there as well, so I might take the spacers out. But no, so we've got the cover to pull across. But now that's fitting really nice. I'm going to take the... Um, take the spacers out I think see how it sits yeah. right it's in it looks fairly flush kind of hard to gauge there's only one thing left to do see if it gets wet inside it is quite dry in there now because it's dried out so we'll see if the boy gets wet or not shall we I hear some. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. Anything? I'm done, bro. Right. Ready for the next? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing? Are we dry? I think. No way. No way. It's dry. It was just the door cans. Yeah, so obviously it's dripped down the edges, as we'd expect. But that stayed dry. Arthur, it's a miracle. I'm glad I didn't get a soggy. I mean, I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed that you're still dry. That would have been quite fun. But <laughs> yeah, to be honest. It's good that it's, it's good that it's watertight. All right, mission accomplished with the sunroof. All right, we've now sorted the aerial. Uh, I'll show you that in a sec. So we're just putting the sunroof surround back on. Um, so it's this stuff. And you see there's like two grooves. So there's one that goes around the metal, around all of this, and then the other one, the headliner, fits into so we're just gonna pop it up onto this get it in the corners really nice and then bring it all the way around and hopefully these two bits will uh, meet up somewhere around the middle you see how it just slides over there So let's just make sure it's pressed all nicely in. And this one as well. Get it right into this corner. That looks all right. Let's see how that meets on this side. Uh, 
be Low. too far so might need to do some adjusting because we've got a bit of a bit of extra so it probably just needs to push into some of these corners a little bit more so yeah right i'll deal with that that is now fitted so that's the finished look around a sunroof so obviously we did the black that we've done the headlining we made the trim black so we can now go and that's the, the joint so i'd missed this corner i didn't push it in far enough um so yeah should we try and put the headlining in i guess there's enough up here to to balance it onto and we'll see how it looks it's nice there uh, new foam self-adhesive foam stuff to replace these strips so we've rubbed it off and um, but they're still there so we'll just run some new stuff down the edges where the old ones were and um yeah hopefully that will keep it nice and secure all right we we're all foamed up up the sides i think we're good to try and get it in so i'm thinking same kind of approach that we did before so get it right to the front which is like so and then try and get the back to slide up behind the pillars on either side which helps support the back and then we can try and tuck the front in so bear with me um, Sides in, that side's in. Ooh, gentle, 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 gentle. Bit by bit. feels like we're nearly in so we've got the back panel there so that slides into the back back and then the plastic trim goes over that so that's the back so also we've got some plastic trim to go over that sides the other side so when all these are pushed up and clicked in, it should go quite nicely. And then we'll put the front up there. So we could try and put the headliner into this. So I might need to take that back out, actually. I might do half. So if it takes there, because we know it fits, so we could take it to there, then push it around that half, and then do the other half. So I think we'll do that quickly now. Here we have the finished result of the headliner retrim. So it's all in. Nice and fresh, obviously we've got the plastics to sort. But yeah, that's come up really nicely. Very, very pleased with that. And obviously we've got the slidey side of glass sunroof as well. So that's that's a wicked result. Very, very pleased. Right. Sun visors. So we've got lovely black headliner. And we've got the old scabby grey. Some visors, so I've popped the the mirror piece out because I'll just try and clean that up. I'm not going to change that the color because I think that lights up. This is obviously the light element, so we'll tape that up. We've got all the other bits off, so we've got all the, the little pieces, uh, the visors and the slidey on that. So I think what we're going to try and do is spray paint them, just see how they come out because it's a bit of a plasticky fabric so yeah um let's go try and spray paint them see how it comes up it's not gonna look any worse and if it does we then try something else okay so we've also got these two interior trims here so one of them's like the a pillar and then one of them's a piece that runs across the back 
and um, obviously they were snapped when they came off so we'll have a look at repairing them the fabric on the other side seems to be okay so if we can a little nick in it there but if we can get that lined up glue the fabric back down before it tears and hopefully that will uh, look all right so we can do sweet so we've got our makes your spray booth we've got our trusty little spray thing and some plastic grey primer stuff so let's see what we can do with these um, obviously masked over the, the gubbins in the middle and the connector Let's try and get this done in between gusts of wind nice coat of primer on these this thing made a pretty good booth um, there's one bit I got concerned with I'll show you in a sec so we did these two as well just some sellotape wrapped around itself to make it sticky so they don't roll about so those are done so the only bit I'm concerned with is on this one so first spray I don't know how well you can see it there's a bit of a a bit there um, got a gust of wind on our first spray which was a bit annoying but hopefully it won't be too bad when it's black we might have to just pull that a little bit off yeah so when it's dry we'll test the shutter um, that one all looks good and we'll try and get it black so that's dried quite nicely so we're going to go for a bit of a satin black see how it comes up few coats but we'll see what one coat does and go from there put a nice light layer of them all over that's the first first pass complete so we'll see how whoop, try to spin it see how that dries up I'll probably give it another go later on it's hard to see what's dry and what's wet to be honest so we'll uh, come back and see see how we get on that's the sun visors sprayed and fitted they have got a I use a satin paint so they have got a slight shine to them but no, they've come out come out well I'm quite pleased with those um, see how long they last I don't know the, the durability or anything but you know, they've come up come up nice so I'm now just on the hunt which I'll find eventually, but for that, um, a black sunroof switch. So the next part of the puzzle really is to fix that trim and a trim at the back. And then once that's done, I think we can say the upgrade is complete. There you go, then we've got a plastic welder thing. We've got some, oh, it's gonna fall off. We've got some of the little, little things. So I think the idea is, you push these as close together as proper, so sort of like that. You heat the metal thing up, stick it in, and it will melt the plastic, and then you just release it and snip the stuff off. And then that will hold it together, hopefully. Um, let's have a go with the first one, see where we get to. Right, so apparently we pull the trigger, this bit starts glowing red, and at that point, we're good to put it on the plastic so let's hold the trigger I don't know how long this takes oh not long at all that's very red so now let's try and that didn't hold that didn't hold although it has melted it so that's worked kind of Let's try a different hole. Oh, it stinks. That's still not gone in. Is it meant to leave it? Ah, you meant to put it and leave it. I thought it would stay. Aha, there we go, look. That's one bar in. But I think I've melted that side. 
I have. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Okay, we'll practice on this one. Um, I might have to get a spare. That's very nice this week. Oh, it's got much room. Okay. We're going to rethink this plan then. Okay, so I think we can heat this up, put it on, hold it, and see what happens. So let's start heating it up, get it nice and hot, and then just put it on and see what happens. Sort of like that. Let it set. So give it a minute just to cool down. And then we'll try and pull try and pull this off like so. And hopefully it's not gone it's not gone through. So we can now put a couple more on and see how it goes. Um yeah. So it's come up alright. They're uh fairly rigid. Only thing is the first couple of goes are completely ballsed up. I went through that, through the cover, and onto the bonnet of the golf. So this back piece now is going to get wrapped in the the nice leftover fabric that we got. So that will look pretty. So we're just going to snip the little metal bits off, and then I'll probably look at spraying and cutting that ready to fit. Right then. Very, very, very pleased to say the headliner and stuff is complete so should we have a little should we have a little look see how it's come together so we've obviously got the nice new material we've done that one i'm gonna look to sort this we've got the black sun visors now which are looking quite nice obviously got the sunroof cover new b4 passat glass roof with the golf mark 3 cover all trimmed up in black we've got all the, the side trims back on obviously the one at the back in fabric as well i don't know how well that came out but yeah very very happy with that it's looking lovely i think it looks good against the cream leather that's going to get a makeover as well at some point but yeah finished result very pleased with that